Hello, welcome to School Fees Management Application using Razi, Blazor, and C Sharp. First, I'm going to connect to SQL Server. So I'm going to right click on databases. It's a new database. So let me call it School Fee Manager DB. Click OK. So I'll right click on tables. Point to me. Table. So, I'm going to have student ID. The data type will be big int. So, I'm going to set it as primary key. I'm also going to make it identity color. So I'm also going to have first name. First name. Last name. Then we are going to have another column called current class ID. So let's save this table as students. So let's create another table called school classes. So let's have school class ID. I'll be in. Let's pick it primary key. <laughs> Let's make it be fast. Identity. So let's have class name. And back at 50. Let's save this table as school classes.
let's create a unique key on class name so we right click go to index it to key add type unique key class name okay Close. so let's click save all Now let's go to students. Let's create a relationship between school classes and students table. So we right click here. Then I'm going to click on relationships. I click add. Then I go to table and column specification. I click the ellipsis. Primary key table with the school classes. Primary key column with the school class ID. Foreign key table is already selected for you, which is students. And uh, foreign key column will be current class ID. Then we are going to say save off. Okay. So they are going to create another table. So point to new table. First column. First column will be fee record ID. And the data type is going to be big int. We'll make it primary key. And we are also going to make it identity. Then we are going to have student ID. Which will be big in. Primary key. Then we are going to have another column called due date. Due date. Then we are going to have another column called amount due, which will be decimal 18, comma 2. And we are also going to have a month page, which is also going to be decimal. Eighteen comma two. So now we can save this table as fee records. Fee records. So it is time to create a relationship between students and fee records. Click relationships, add table and column spec students. Student ID. Foreign key table. Save all again. So now,
So we are going to have another table. That table will be payment ID. So we are going to have so we are going to have payment date. Payment date. That will be date time. So it is time to save this table as payments. Let's create a relationship between fee records and payments. Let's just save up. 